In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning. Happy morning to you all. Today, God is going to gift you joy in your hearts because Mary is a cause of our joy. So smile wide and greet one another on your left and right. Show that you are a joyful person. At least once. Yes. Those who are not turning are not very joyful, but don't worry, you will be joyful at the end of this Mass because Mary causes joy, not sadness. My dear friends, as we begin this morning with a joyful heart, with a thanksgiving in our heart for all the blessings that we have been given all the past two weeks at, from Mount Mary's, we thank God in this Eucharist. We thank God for all the gifts that we are going to enjoy from today onwards. But we are far away from holiness, which is a source of joy. Let us ask God, gift of holiness. For most times we have been unholy, sinful. We humble ourselves like our blessed mother, asking pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. I offer this Eucharist that joy may flood your hearts and homes. Lord our God, you are pleased to bring joy to the world through the incarnation of your Son. 
Grant that we who honor his mother, the cause of our joy, may walk always in the way of your commandments, with our hearts set on true and lasting joy. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the, prof from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The descendants of my people shall be renowned among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them shall acknowledge them as a race the Lord has blessed. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, in my God, is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. The word of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in the Lord. Please repeat. My spirit rejoices in the Lord. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked upon his handmaid's lowliness. Behold, from now on, will all ages call me blessed. My spirit rejoices in the Lord. The Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is His name. The Lord's mercy is from age to age for those who fear Him. My spirit rejoices in the Lord. The hungry he has filled with good things. The rich he has sent away empty. The Lord has helped Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy. My spirit rejoices in the Lord. Kindly rise for the gospel. joy of humankind remaining a virgin you gave birth and brought forth for us the one who is our salvation and joy
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear devotees of our Blessed Mother of the Mount, we are on the decline of the feast, another two more days. And uh, the feast octave may be over, but the joy our Blessed Mother has given to you will not be over. It will continue to be there throughout the year. Once again, wish you all a very happy feast of our Blessed Mother of the Mount. This morning I was deeply thinking whom to give you or us as a model of joy a person who always is joyful after, of course, of our Blessed Mother, then I understood Pope Francis is a person who is full of joy. Do you agree? I want to make sure it is uh, verified. So I went to the Google and pressed Pope Francis on Google Images. And to my surprise, all his photos are with a U curve on his face, a smile on his face. There's hardly any photo which is without a smile or joy on his face. But only one photo I said he was not so happy or he's not so... That was a selfie with one person. Probably he didn't know how to pout, or make his face tweaked. So he was struggling. Otherwise, you go and check, all his pictures are with a smile with a joy on his face. Today, we are going to meditate and reflect that Mary causes joy. And she was always joyful. And she wants us to be joyful also. Pope Francis also says, holiness is the identity card of a Christian. Also he says, a sad Christian is a bad Christian. A sad sister is a bad sister. A sad priest is a bad priest. So, a Christian must have hol holiness, of course, and joy connected with all the time. I like to quote uh, some quotes from this beautiful book called Gaudet et Exultate, Rejoice and Be Glad, written by Pope Francis. And he says, I like to contemplate the holiness present in the patience of God's people in those parents. I'm sure most of you are parents. In those parents who raise their children with immense love. In those men and women who work hard to support their families. I'm sure you all are working hard to meet the both ends. In the sick, in elderly religious who never lose their smile. Here I see so many religious full of smile. Before I came for the entrance, I met a sister who works every day from morning till evening, Sister Anna D. Abrio from Hospital Sisters. She's peeping from behind. And she says, Father, I don't get tired at all. I come sometimes at four o'clock in the morning and throughout the day I'm here, I want to do more. I get, don't just go, don't get tired. So from where does that joy come from? comes from holiness, comes from her commitment. So my dear friends, the first message that we take home today is uh, we carry joy in our hearts. It doesn't mean that there's no pain. It doesn't mean there's no 
sorrow. Yesterday we celebrated mother of sorrows. It's like a soldier fighting for his country. He has pain, he has injuries, but there is joy. It's like a mother who's going to deliver a baby. Yes, there is pain, but there is a joy. Yes, joy doesn't mean that you escape from suffering, but embrace that joy comes along with that suffering. Today, we ask Jesus to give that joy to us, to give that joy to everyone. And Pope Francis says again, he wants us to be saints and not to settle for a bland and mediocre existence. God created all of us to be with him, to worship him and to be happy forever. So today as you go home, carry the joy in your heart. Spread the joy in your homes. There may not be people who will revert the joy to you, but you must always be a joyful person. Mary sang Magnificat all through her life. My soul rejoices in God, my Savior. Let us be joyful. Pain will be there. Struggles will be there. But that does not, will not, or should not stop you and me from being joyful. A Christian is a joyful person. And may God bless all of us. Amen. are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of our human hands it will become for us a bread of life blessed be God forever blessed are you Lord God of all creation for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of our human hands it will become for us a spiritual drink blessed be God forever pray dear brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty Lord, receive the offerings of your joyful church. And as you have given us every good gift in Christ the Savior, born of the Immaculate Virgin, grant us a share in his harvest of everlasting joy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, as we honor the memory of our Blessed Virgin Mary, the daughter of your love, to proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. Her blessed birth heralded joy for all the world. Her virgin motherhood brought forth the true light, the source of all joy. Her hidden life brings light and warmth to all the churches of the world. Her passing into glory raised her to the heights of heaven, where as our sister and our mother, she waits for us with loving care until we too enjoy the vision of your glory forever. In our joy, we sing to your glory with all the choirs of angels.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. It's our Father's joy that we all fill with the fullness of joy. Let's pray to the Heavenly Father, praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and the joy of the Lord. 
be with you always and with your spirit let's also again smile and wish each other god's peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold Jesus Christ the lamb of God who causes joy in our hearts blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed in the body and blood of christ keep us safe for eternal life kindly note catholics who wish to receive holy communion should follow the instructions of the ushers people of other faith are requested to remain in their places and join in the singing ja catholic bhavikanna christa sharir swikarnyache ahe tyani krupaya swayam sevakancha suchana che palan karave itar bhavikanna aplya jagavarach rahun गाण्यात भाग घेण्याची विनंती आहे कॅथलिक विश्वासी जो पवित्र ख्रिस्त शरीर स्वीकारना चाहते है वे कृपया आगे आए अन्य धर्म के लोगों से विनती है कि वे अपने जगह पर ही रहे और गाने में सहभाग ले प्लीज टेक केयर ऑफ योर पर्सनल बिलोंगिंग्स प्लीज जॉइन इन सिंगिंग हिम नंबर सेवनटीन ऑन पेज नाइनटीन गिव थैंक्स विद अ ग्रेटफुल हार्ट
Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to attain eternal joy. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Once again, wish you all a very, very happy feast of our Blessed Mary of the Mount. You are going to go home today as a, a face of the church, joyful face of the church. Pain, struggles are there, but they all will be at the back seat. God is the God of joy. He causes joy in Mary and causes joy in us. Together with my superior, Father Johnny from St. Paul's, and me and Father Michael, is a joyful person always. Whenever I go to him, he has a big smile. And we smile each with each other today. We wish you all a very happy feast. Also, on information that from St. Paul's, we daily live telecast half an hour Eucharistic adoration called 30 Holy Minutes. Go to YouTube, search for St. Paul's adoration from 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m., half an hour. You will get it. It will cause you a lot of joy in your families. Thank you. Let us receive the final blessings the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. the celebration is ended go in the joy of christ Please join in singing hymn number 37, 37, Holy Virgin. <laughs> 